Hello again, Bizzles family and friends. This is the daily pastoral message for Thursday, June 25. And I thought as long as we've been on this theme for the past couple of days of the word, I would read Henry Nowen's concluding meditation on the word from Bread from the Journey. Bread for the Journey. And so the reading for June 25 is entitled, Words That Create Community. And this follows directly from yesterday's reading. The word is always a word for others. Words need to be heard. When we give words to what we are living, these words need to be received and responded to. A speaker needs a listener. A writer needs a reader. When the flesh, the lived human experience, becomes word, community can develop. When we say, let me tell you what we saw, come and listen to what we did, sit down and let me tell you what happened to us, wait until you hear whom we met, we call people together and make our lives into lives for others. The word word brings us together and calls us into community. When the flesh becomes word, our bodies become part of a body of people. And so, inspired by Jesus, the word become flesh, we strive to let our lived experiences, our flesh become the word for others. We express our lived experience through our words and our actions, which we then describe and discuss in our words. And we bring others into community to share in our life experiences and to have mutual experiences together so that the enfleshed word and the word of what our lives are about are about that community coming together. The message for Sunday is going to be on the faith family, which is, in other words, of saying the community of faith, because we form our faith family from people that were within our own family and people who are not necessarily in our biological family, but we share a commitment to living out our faith together. And so, words that create community, let us live out the words of our faith, the words of our lives together in serving God and serving others. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for calling us together as your community, your family of faith. And we ask, O Lord, that we tell our story, that we tell our story that has been impacted by your story, the good news, the gospel, and that we share gospel love with all whom we meet, helping to build a world that is filled with your love. Lord, we continue to hold those affected in this pandemic in prayer. We continue to hold all those who are seeking justice in the world in prayer. And we ask, O Lord, that you help us in our faith community to stay united in spirit even as we have been separated but even as with joy we are coming back together to worship you here in the outdoors and soon back in our church lord keep us safe keep us together and let your word be our word as well in your holy name O christ we pray Amen. So I'll be bringing another message to you tomorrow, and then we actually have the last reading in our Saturday series this uh, this Saturday. So uh, then I'll have to come up with a new Saturday series, I guess. And then we will have outdoor worship here on Sunday morning at 10. Uh, right now the forecast is beautiful, and so we will hope that it stays that way. So I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Until we talk then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and I know that God is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.